So, ladies and gentlemen, um, the factoring one by trinomials is pretty basic, right? That's I mean, something you've been going over probably from Algebra 1, Algebra 2, Geometry. Um, something you've kind of hit a lot, a lot, and you know, you just need a lot of practice on being able to do those. Um, however, now we're going to get into a special factoring technique, and, and this is what we call factoring by grouping. And the reason why I know this is going to be, I'm going to want to use factor by grouping, well, first thing, whenever we're looking at factoring, you always want to look, is there a term that every single term shares, right? The GCF, which you call it, greatest common factor. But out of all these four terms, I don't see a greatest common factor. So then the next thing I want to look into is, can I factor this by grouping? And factoring by grouping is going to be very helpful for your homework tonight. So what we do is we group the first two terms and group the last two terms. And what factoring by grouping is helpful is because now we take the first two terms and last two terms and we factor out the GCF or see if there is a, a GCF we can factor out. So in this first one, we see that, yeah, I can factor out. Wait a minute. This is your homework problem, isn't it? Yeah, yeah why did I pick your homework problem? I don't want to do this problem. I'll do that problem next class period. Um, you were looking at. This isn't the right one. Where's the right one? Which problem were you had, ma'am? 17. OK. All right. Now, this one can get kind of confusing because technically, you can combine these two terms, right? You could combine this to 6t squared minus 7t plus 2, right? But then you're going to have to factor it using our AC method, which we're actually going to go over today. So if you didn't want to factor it this way, and you're like, I don't know what to do you know, from there, we can factor it by grouping again. So we go back to the grouping term. Let's group the first two terms and the last two terms. Now what I'm going to do is see what, com what terms they have in common. So I look at these first two, 6t squared minus 4t squared. What do they have in common? You can see, well, they both can, I can divide out a 2 and a t. So I'll factor out a 2t. And that's going to leave me with 3t uh, minus 2. Then I look over here and I say, what can I factor out out of here? Well, we want this factor to be the same as that one. So to do that, I'm going to have to factor out a negative 1. And by factoring out a negative 1, I now have a 3t minus 2. Do you can see how these are now the same? Right? That's good, because now, and out of this expression, these two are both the same. So what I can do is now factor that out again. So when I factor out a 3t minus 2, I'm left with a 2t minus 1. And that would be your factored form for that. OK? So that's just a quick little tutorial on that. That's what you're supposed to do in your homework quiz. But don't change your homework quiz. It's OK. You didn't do it.